everybody's talking about medicine, but what is it? Well, you better take a seat. There are some big words coming up. Medicine involves the study of anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, pharmacology, and pathology, all being directly applicable in diagnosing, understanding, and treating a disease. Wow, it's probably best we bring this back down to earth. Well, let's try this. Imagine performing an open heart surgery to treat a child with a defective heart, to then leave the surgical theatre to tell their anxiously awaiting parents that their child is out of danger. Or diagnosing an early stage of ovarian cancer that just hugely increased the odds of a patient's survival. These are just two of the awe-inspiring types of work carried out by doctors on a daily basis. So I guess you don't need to have superpowers and wear a cape to be a superhero. It just requires carrying out good deeds, showing kindness and compassion. Keep calm for a second. Before you run off to buy your first stethoscope, take a deep breath. Just remember that becoming a doctor is not something that happens overnight. You must have a genuine interest of the human body, how it works, how to fix it, as well as a love for helping people. Now that you know this, you can get excited. So after five years at med school and passing all your exams, congratulations, you're a doctor. But you can't put away your books just yet. There is also a two-year foundation programme. This is when most medics decide what they want to go into. Now with that out of the way, let's talk doctors. First of all, there is your local general practitioner. In other words, your GP. They are the front line of healthcare, providing routine checkups, diagnosing, assessing, and treating hundreds of conditions. And that's not all. They also help prevent disease by helping patients improve their lifestyles, such as losing weight and quitting smoking. Sometimes your GP has to refer a patient to the hospital, from the most complicated conditions to the simplest. For instance, a patient may go to their GP and say, doctor, I get heartburn every time I eat birthday cake. The doctor may tell them to take the candles off next time. It's simple. Jokes aside, let's talk hospital doctors. They work in a number of specialities, from emergency medicine to surgery. This can range from specialisms such as neurology and orthopaedics, right through to cardiology. A cardiologist deals with heart disorders and parts of the cardiovascular system. So really what I mean is, everything from putting titanium plates in your body so you can walk again, through to screening poop to detect bowel cancer. You may have already guessed, to specialise, there's further training. You didn't think it was that easy, did you? Finally is a psychiatrist. This specialism is slightly different and primarily deals with patient mental health conditions, which impair day-to-day -day functions. For example, patients may hear voices in their head or have feelings of sadness and anxiousness they cannot control. Through therapy, medication and other treatment, psychiatrists are able to help patients return to their normal life. So if you want to undertake remote surgery on patients that are thousands of miles away, yes, that's actually a thing, or be able to develop the next game changer in pharmaceuticals to prolong life expectancy, medicine may be for you. Now you can get out of your seat and get really excited. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below on what our next video should be. If you really want to show your support, head over to Patreon, the links are all below.